Hi, I'm Danny Seo, and welcome to a brand new episode of Do Just One Thing. Is there anything sweeter and better than a homemade hot fudge sundae? Well, if that sounds intimidating and almost overwhelming, what if I tell you you can make it in two ingredients in one easy step and it's the world's best hot fudge sundae. So the way that we start is that you need a bowl. <laughs> it's very simple, you're gonna love this recipe. And what I use is maple syrup. So what we love about maple syrup, it's gonna give that hot fudge that viscosity that you want. Sort of like that ooey, gooey, liquid shininess that you have in here. And the secret is to do about one cup of maple syrup, two cups if you're cooking for a crowd, and three cups if you're watching movies by yourself. And then you take two packets of hot cocoa mix. So any brand is completely fine. You don't have to get the fancy French chocolate, cocoa, oh, chocolat, or anything. This is just a regular supermarket variety, and you sprinkle your two hot cocoa packets in here. I try to avoid the ones that have the marshmallows in there. I find it doesn't really work to make a hot fudge if possible. And then you take a whisk, and you just whisk it together. The last step is you take your maple syrup hot cocoa mixture and you just heat it up until it starts to simmer just a little bit around the edges and then turn off the heat. And I'll show you, this is what it looks like before you heat it up. It just looks like very liquidy, almost like chocolate milk. This is not a good hot fudge recipe. But what happens is when you heat it up and then you let it cool, look, how it just emulsifies into the richest, darkest, most decadent, sticky hot fudge. And one of the nice things about this recipe is when hot fudge is too scorching hot, do you ever notice that when you ladle it on ice cream, everything just melts down very quickly. You have to eat it as quickly as possible. With this one, it can still be warm, but it can also let you enjoy every last morsel as the hot fudge drips down the edges, covers the ice cream. How good does that look? And then I know I said it was two ingredients, but how about a little whipped cream? And there you have it. In a matter of minutes, you have probably one of the best homemade hot fudge recipes using just maple syrup, cocoa mix, and uh, a spoon. <laughs> Mm. You seriously have to try this. It's the best thing ever. If you're gonna make this hot fudge recipe, be sure to tag the Drew Barrymore Show in your Instagram post, and don't forget. Oh gosh, it's so good. <laughs> don't forget to check out the DrewBarrymoreShow.com for a lot more recipes and ideas just like this. And you can find recipes as amazing and sweet and decadent like this in my magazine, Naturally. Danny Sio, which you can find on newsstands. And I just want another bite. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. Do just one thing or eat the whole Sunday yourself. <laughs>